Hey guys, today I'm going to go through my Alice Cooper collection and show you what I've got. I'm going to go through the vinyl, so both my 45s and my uh, studio albums. So let's get started. Um, first off, I've got the second album by the Alice Cooper band. This, I should note, is an incomplete collection. I'm working towards getting them all. Not quite there yet, but getting there. Uh, anyways, this is Easy Action. It's the second album by the original Alice Cooper group. Uh, and this is a 2018 180 gram reissue, and it is on gold file, and it is a gatefold, just like the original. All right, next up is Love It to Death. I love this album, Love It to Death. Um, and it's got some great tracks on it. Um, this is a 2017 180 gram reissue, and it's on a black white marble vinyl. All right, next up is Killer, and this is on a uh, red and black vinyl, as I remember. Um, it actually has the fold-out calendar with him hanging, much like the original vinyl. Um, so, awesome. All right, next is Schools Out. This is the original 1972 U.S. pressing with the desk fold-out. It, it doesn't have the panties in it, unfortunately, but um, pretty cool to have the original pressing of schools out nonetheless. All right, next up is Billion Dollar Babies. Much like schools out, this is the original U.S. pressing uh, from 1973. Um, it's the first pressing, and it it is the original gatefold. Uh, has the bill, has the original picture sleeve, has the cards. This is a complete first pressing of Billion Dollar Babies. So that's awesome to have. All right, the next few I am missing unfortunately, but it picks up again with his solo effort from the inside after the group split. Um, this is probably my favorite all Cooper record. I, I, there's something about it. I just love it. The songwriting, the performances are just, just great. Uh, so this is from the inside. And this is the 2018 reissue on 180 gram. It's a green and black swirl vinyl. All right. Next up is 1980s Flush the Fashion. This is also a... Uh, 2018 180 gram reissue. This is a European version actually, whereas that one was a US version. And this is a green swirl vinyl. All right, flush the fashion. Next is 1982's Special Forces. Okay, this is on blue vinyl, also 180 gram. All right, next is Dada. This is also 2018 180 gram. This is on an orange swirl vinyl. So there's data. Very, very underrated album. Next is Constrictor from 1986. Many of these are in the original shrink. They've been opened, but um, still got the shrink on them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a little bit of a variation. This is the Record Club edition as denoted I don't know if you can see that, by the CRC right there, um, but very cool to have nonetheless. All right, next up, also in, in original shrink, is Raise Your Fist and Yell, from 1987, and like Constrictor, this is also a record club version. There. All right, next is Trash. And this is a 2017, I think. Yeah, 2017 uh, EU version. This is on 180 gram, and it's a black vinyl. They also made a red, but this is the black version. So that is trash. All right. Next is Dragon Town. And I have two copies of Dragon Town. Here's one, and here's the other. They reissued this on. I think 180 gram. Yeah, 180 gram uh, colored vinyl. I think it's orange um, for record store day last year. So I was able to pick up two copies at two different stores. Um, one is in original shrink. Actually, both are. But one, this one right here, is sealed. I opened one so I could listen to it. I wanted to keep sealed. Uh, the, the interesting thing about this one is it's on um, 45 RPM vinyl. So it's the full 12 inches, but on 45, so that's not something you see every day. Next up is probably the most rare, I guess. Uh, fewest pressed. 
uh, LP in my collection. This is a 2019 uh, record store date reissue of Dirty Diamonds on LP. And this is the Blood Splatter vinyl version. I think they made another edition later in the year. It was not on that color vinyl, but this is that one. As they know by the sticker, this one is still factory sealed. And they only made 900 of this worldwide. So it's a pretty scarce one to have. Love this one. Next, I know this is supposed to be um, a 12 inch collection, but this is a 10 inch one right here. Uh, this is the Breadcrumbs EP. Um, and they are individually serial numbered out of 20,000. Mine is number 9,948. This is a, it's something different, but it's, it's cool. I like this record nonetheless. Breadcrumbs EP. And finally, I've got um, Billion Dollar Babies Live. This is also Record Store Day uh, 2019. They put out a lot of really good Alice stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Record Store Day whenever it happens uh, this year because they're putting out a full Special Forces show officially released. So that's going to be really, really cool to get that. Um, this is pretty cool. It's basically what was on the Billion Dollar Babies Deluxe CD from 2001 or 2002 on LP. Um, but it also has a 45 in it, which contains two additional songs. So, pretty cool. It is, this one is out of 6,000 copies worldwide. So, not done yet. Uh, that's all of my 12 and 10 inch ones, but I'll go through real quickly my 45s I have, and maybe try to explain some of the different variations on them of the ones I have. So, this one right here, this is I'm 18, and is it my body? And this is the standard uh, U.S. pressing of this. Um, there's several variations on the label. There's some where it says intro on both sides and the time. There's some where it has it on one side and some where it has it on none. This is the one where it has intro listed on both sides. So that's what's different about that one. Uh, next, I've got uh, Be My Lover. And Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. And this is the Styrene Pittman pressing from the U.S. All right, next is Schools Out and Gutter Cat versus the Jets. Uh, this is the standard U.S. pressing. Uh, this is was pressed Terre Haute here in Indiana, where I'm at. Um, the difference on this one is it's credited to the whole band right here. And there is a variation out there where it's just credited to Alice and Michael Bruce. Uh, but I think this is the more common one. Haven't really come across the other one yet. All right, next is the first, uh, yeah, the first uh, single released by Alice Cooper as a solo artist. This is on Atlantic uh, label. This is the Department of Youth. And this is a promo ver copy, as you may see. Uh, this is, uh, there's several different variations to these promos. Um, this is the only one where it says promotion copy for sale in this specific spot. There's some where it's like over here and some over here, but that's this one. All right. Um, next is Only Women Lead, or as it says on the record, Only Women. And Cold Ethel is the B-side. And this is a Plastic Products Crossing. That's the name of the plant, and it's from Memphis, Tennessee. So that's what that is. This is also a Plastic Products Crossing of Only Women Bleed. Um... This is the promo version that was pressed there. And then I also have another promo version of Only Women Bleed, but it has some slightly different text. I'll show the difference real quick. So you can see on this one, it says promo copy right here. Or no, not promo copy. Plug side mono. Doesn't say it on that one. So. There's some other slight text differences, but I won't get into that. Um, I'm not quite sure where this one was pressed, but it's not a plastic product one. Next is Welcome to My Nightmare, the standard single for this. Cold Ethel is the B-side on that as well, just like um, Department of Youth. And this one is a label variation. Again, just different than some of the others. Um... And this is the promo version of Welcome to My Nightmare as well. Okay. 
Next is I Never Cry and Go to Hell from Alice Cooper Goes to Hell record. Um, this is a slight label variation as well as a Matrix and Run Out variation. This was pressed at Los Angeles uh, Capital Record pressing plant. And next is You and Me and It's Hot Tonight. This is just the standard US pressing, nothing incredibly special about that one. And finally, we'll end it with I Like Girls from Zipper Catches Skin. And this is the promo US pressing of that. They also made a 12-inch, 33 and a third RPM maxi disc for that with I Like Girls on both sides. Um, but this is the 45 version, the promo. Uh, the regular single, I think, had Zoro's Ascent as the B-side, but that's just I Like Girls on both sides. Um, I think one is, yeah, one's mono and one's stereo. So that's my Alice Cooper um, vinyl collection. I'll make another video soon where I'll show all my CDs and my few cassette tapes. Uh, look forward to it. See you guys next time. Bye.